The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not have a spot on the balcony at Prince Charles's coronation under slimmed down plans for his ascension as king, according to fresh claims. Royal insiders have said today, Sunday, that the Prince of Wales plans to have a smaller ceremony than previous coronations, including his mother's. Supposed plans for the day may exclude all but those in the line of succession. A source told the Mail on Sunday, it will be a slimmed down monarchy on display throughout. I wouldn't be surprised to see just Charles and Camilla, Kate and William and their children on the Buckingham Palace balcony afterwards. Clarence House denied there were such plans. The paper claims that plans are being drawn up under the codename Operation Golden Orb for Prince Charles's streamlined coronation. The prince has already let it be known that he favors a leaner, more modern monarchy. His coronation is reportedly expected to set the tone for the new reign. A source said that it would be shorter, sooner, smaller, less expensive and more representative of different community groups and faiths compared to the Queen's coronation in 1953. The ceremony will reportedly happen within a year of his accession to the throne. The Queen's came 16 months after. Whereas the Queen's coronation saw a parade of tens of thousands of troops, Operation Golden Orb will reportedly be limited to a maximum of 2,000 guests. The service will also be far shorter due to Prince Charles's age, a source claimed. The Mail on Sunday also claims Prince Charles wishes to use a new design on the official insignia which appears on post boxes and police officers' uniforms. Instead of the current St. Edward's design, he is said to want the simpler Tudor crown. Even though the Prince of Wales is said to want to represent multicultural Britain in his ceremony, he will still remain the defender of just one faith. A source close to Prince Charles said, Charles will definitely be defender of the faith. There's been debate over that, but that's certain. Charles was considered progressive 50 years ago when he spoke about interfaith dialogue and that will certainly be part of the ceremony. He thinks of the UK as a community comprising different communities and you should expect all those communities represented. A Clarence House spokesperson said last night, the detailed planning for a coronation begins at the point of accession. So there are no plans of this nature at this stage. But a source told the paper, there are binders and binders of paperwork on the accession and coronation all stacked up and each has various appendixes. It's very complex. The Golden Orb Committee used to meet twice a year but now they're meeting much more frequently, sometimes once a month. Compared to the last coronation, there will be a lot less fuss. Last time, special green chairs were commissioned and guests were able to have them delivered to their homes afterwards. You won't see that sort of thing this time. The Arcane Court of Claims, where the Lords are invited to put forward their right to be included in the ceremony, could also be scrapped. Following the coronation, Charles and Camilla are expected to tour major UK cities as King and Queen Consort. In her Platinum Jubilee message, the Queen announced that Camilla should be crowned Queen Consort upon Charles's accession. Previous statements suggested she would otherwise have been known as Princess Consort. It is said that Prince Charles wishes his coronation, which will be funded by the taxpayer, to be value for money. A source said the next coronation would be far cheaper than the last. It was Charles's wish that any celebration should be considered good value, they added.